All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Aaron. Um, I've been going through radioactive iodine treatment for thyroid uh, cancer. Um, woke up this morning, got a little bit of rest, um, more than I normally do so. So considering that, um, I woke up and thought I'd do a little homework to give you some numbers of uh, what I've been going through as far as radiation. I'm no expert, but i um, starting to feel I'm getting a handle on um, the numbers the last few days. So uh, this is day five for me. Um, day zero is the day I took it. The next day is day one. You know, um, continue with that. It's day five now. Um, I do have a Geiger counter, so I'm going to kind of go over uh, how that works and uh, talk about the readings I was getting. Um, real quick, the low iodine diet sucks big time. Uh, <laughs> I've been pretty hardcore about it, um, sticking to my guns, not cheating at all. Um, you know, I, it's uh, 2016 now. I start, started, uh, let's see here, I started uh, off of my short-term thyroid med after the surgery of removal of my thyroid on September 5th. I believe that's correct. Let me go check the calendar real quick. Yeah. Um... So I stopped the Cytomel on September 5th, and um, I started my diet that day. I'm sorry, I started the diet three days later, September 8th. Okay, so I've been on a diet for um, two and a half weeks almost now. Um, maybe I'm just a big baby, and everybody's body is different, and probably reacts to this to differently, but for me, you know... I like to eat some things, and uh, not being able to do it, it kind of sucks when you're off of a thyroid med, so you're tired anyway. You're just beyond exhausted, so that's my, my particular situation. Um, maybe other people are drinking, maybe other people have more energy, um, but for me, it's it's like a, a walking pneumonia or something. It's, 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 it's um, pretty exhausting just being tired all the time and um, having a diet that's really restrictive um, makes it more difficult. My situation, um, not eating dairy, uh, nothing that's processed, everything's pretty much fresh or organic, which is good, you know, it's good for you, um, but it, it's got completely diet, complete diet change compared to what I'm normally used to. And, little bit of a shock for me I think um, so uh, they gave me a 30 millicury dose at, at the nuclear medicine office um, and this was on Tuesday September 20th so I've been on the diet for just under two weeks at that point And um, I'm going to be resuming my normal diet later today, and I am so unbelievably excited about that. I'm going to actually wait until exactly my five days um, comes up, you know, depend on the hour. So <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm just waiting and counting down the, the minutes now. So by the time anyone sees this, I'll probably be eating a cheeseburger and fries and a milkshake and be loving life at that point and I will, will be going back on my thyroid hormone today so I'm looking forward to having more energy and I'm feeling like um, I'm able to function and not needing to rest my eyes every couple of hours and take a nap and be a walking zombie basically um, by the way real quick <laughs> I, I did have some time to watch Walking Dead while I was you know, in isolation. I'm still in isolation, but um, I did have some time to watch Walking Dead Season 6, and it's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'll get that on my system. So, here is, I'm going to flip over the camera view here in a second and show you uh, 
my math and Geiger counter readings. Hold on. Okay, so here is the Geiger counter I have. Um, let me stand up a little bit here. Turn on the light. <clears throat> oh, it's already on. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is the Geiger counter I've been using. Um, as you can see here, in, uh, the top number is micro sievens per hour. So this is a per hour meter. Um, down below, if I can move it up a little bit, sorry, it's a little dark. You'll see milli rent guns per hour. So I've been kind of using the milli rent guns per hour scale, um, but I've converted both scales. Um, and as you can see, the twos, threes, and fours, and fives all match up. So it doesn't really matter which scale I use on this particular Geiger counter. Um, I haven't done the homework to see what normal Geiger counters look like. Um, but I'll tell you, when I got home, day zero, my readings were off the charts. I could not um, get an accurate reading at all because I was throwing out so much radiation. Um, so here you can see you have a, a, a 1 scale, a 10 scale, and a 100 scale. So I usually have it on the 100 scale just because um, anything below the 100 scale, it's off the chart. So 100 scale works after like day one. So not the day I came home, but the next day. It started with reading a value that I could use. Uh, you can turn it on the on button. You can see you can turn on the audio and you'll hear the sound, obviously. Um, if you flip it over, it gives you the ranges, the max ranges up here of what you're, you're looking at. So CPM is counts per minutes. The rest are per hour. Um, when I came home, after taking the pill, it was above 50,000 counts per minute. So I couldn't really give an accurate reading. Now, if I had been really scientific about it and really thought my way through this, I would have kept the same distance at every reading, but um, that first day, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it was like 50,000 accounts, um, arm length away or even more. Uh, I could walk into the other room and it would still give off a pretty solid stream of, of value. Um, <clears throat> So I've been kind of doing about an arm's length away, maybe a little less, maybe half an arm length away, and I've been kind of sticking to that range right there. So it's not completely scientific, but I, I, I did get some numbers out of that value, out of that system. So what I've been doing is, um, there are a few days where I was not feeling well at all, at all, and um, I didn't, I did record I didn't, I did, um, excuse me, I did read it every day, but I didn't write it down until today. So these are approximate, these, these three right here are approximate. I know the first one's correct, and today is correct. Um, I probably could figure out the half-life and go exactly, figure out what these three values are, but these are approximate, so just go with that. You know, I, I didn't spend a whole lot of time doing this. Um, but I can get, you know, a little more scientific as time goes on, obviously, because, uh, these readings are going to be going on for quite a while. Um, so the first day, day zero is above 50,000 counts per measure. So I, I couldn't even measure that one. Day one, I had a, about 0.48 milli rent guns per hour. Um, and day two would be 0.362412, and today is 0 0.04. Um, so here's how I got the numbers. Day one value is 0.48, you multiply it by 50 according to the back of this. So you go down to, I don't see if I'm a little out of focus, but um, milli rent guns per hour use 100 scale because that's the scale I was getting the readings on and you multiply by 50 so 0.48 times 50 is 24 uh, rent guns per hour so that's um, that's probably not the correct um, well actually I, th I think that would be the correct value so 24 
milli rent goods per hour. If you translate that over to micro, micro sieverts per hour, you get 2400. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, people, but I, I hope I got my math right on that. Day two would have been 18 or 1800 sieverts. Uh, day three is around 12. You know, these aren't exactly half numbers or anything, but uh, give or take a few, depending on when I took the values. Um, sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon. Um, day three was around 12 um, milli ro engines per hour, rent guns, excuse me, uh, around 1200 micro sieverts. Um, <clears throat> day four, six, and 600, and today I'm about two and 200. So I thought I'd take the liberty of converting these to rads. Um, I found that just a MR per hour to rads converter online. I didn't. I don't know exactly the math. I didn't try to figure it out. But this is what it comes down to. So starting out at day one, um, 0 0.02, and I'm down now to 0 0.001739 rads. Um, just to re reiterate. Um, I believe I can use the 10 scale now on here, but let's, let's check it out real quick. I will turn the sound on just for fun. We'll go to 10 scale. And you can see, even though this is an analog, of course, it's not digital. But the closer I get, you can see the numbers going up. So I'll keep it about a half, half an arm's distance away. And you can see where it's at. 2.3, 2.4 micro sieverts per hour. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm still radioactive, so it's not going to go away anytime soon. But totally looking forward to getting on a normal diet and at least being able to have a higher thyroid level and more energy. So. Um, if you like the video, subscribe or whatever. So enjoy your day, and um, hopefully this is kind of helpful for other people when they're going through the same process, or um, other people who may consider taking radiance daily. You can do probably do a better job than I did. Thanks, bye. Okay, so I'm about nine feet away from this thing, <clears throat> and it's going off like crazy. As you'll see when I get closer to it, it's going to protest. Now this is the most sensitive setting, and it most definitely does not like me. The sensor is pointed away from me, actually, so it's pointed towards the uh, TV over there. So when I get close to it, it's going to make a lot of noise. And you can see the, the scale, the analog scale here. It's off the chart. So we're going to set it times 10 and repeat the test and see what that says. Now it's uh, milli, what it's measuring is milli rochins per hour. Uh, that's what it's set to. So this is less sensitive. Um, and I took the pill about 50 minutes ago. Um, right around 50, 55 minutes ago. So that's where we are right now. Um, it is about 10 to five on September 20th, Tuesday, 2016. Now I'm gonna walk towards it really slowly and you'll see. I am radioactive. Oh yeah. Can you feel it? Mm-hmm. Well, I believe this one is off the chart as well. As you can see, it's above the five. So we're gonna set it up to 100. And we're gonna repeat the process again. Maybe I have that backwards. Maybe 100 is more sensitive. No, that's correct actually. Okay, so now if I do my homework right, it's barely picking me up at 100. So I got my finger in the picture, I'm going to slowly walk over here, see if we can get a more accurate readout of what exactly I'm putting out. 
So right now, if you can see the uh, screen there, I'm not sure where the line is. It's almost like my iPad. There you are, I see it. So it's slowly creeping up there, right? Once I get kneeled down to get closer, you can see the bar moving up. See this, but let's see what happens when I hold it to my body. Oh yeah, it's off the charts. So I can't even tell you how much I'm putting off right now because it's over the limit. Uh, we'll try again in a few hours, see if there's any difference. Until then.